Hi guys, so in this video we'll look at Zipkin dashboard and why it is used. So in our uh, microservices architecture, we have uh, developed these microservices, customer fraud detection, notification and Eureka service for service discovery. So in order to identify latency issues or performance issues in any one of these microservice, we need to uh, we need to have some way to monitor these microservices. So in order to uh, monitor how much time uh, this request takes from the user to customer and uh, customer internally calls fraud detection and notification service, this uh, request time is tracked through uh, a Zipkin dashboard. So. Uh, Using the using this, you will be able to identify slowness into your distributed systems, basically. Because right now we have only three microservices, but when your application grows, you will have uh, so many microservices in your architecture. So that time it it becomes difficult to uh, trace the microservice and identify the slowness issues within uh, within your microservices architecture. So to rescue rescue us from that we have zipkin dashboard provided so let's just configure that in our docker compose so let's just open the project i'm just copying uh, i need to copy this zipkin so here we are just uh, creating a zipkin container in in which it will just pull out this zipkin image and start this zipkin container which will run on port number 9411 so we have just added this service entry for zipkin in our docker compose file let's just run this docker compose file docker compose up hyphen d it will just create the container for us it's just running we'll just verify it from here yeah so this zipkin container is up and running from five minutes ago so let's just see yeah so our zipkin container is running and we can just verify it from browser as well so if i press in localhost 9411 and zipkin so this is our zipkin url and it's up and running right now if i query uh, zipkin it won't give me a result because we are not feeding any data to zipkin because zipkin will actually uh, collect the data from uh, our micrometer dependency so we need to add micrometer dependency in uh, into our microservices in order to uh, trace the http requests which are flowing across customer customer to fraud detection and customer to notification service so by uh, by adding this micrometer dependency we would be able to uh, trace our http requests so we'll see that in our upcoming videos thank you